Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to continue or on our trade GUI. It's not going to be the final episode because it's kind of a lot of work to do this in uh, two episodes so I may be doing three or even four depends on how much more work I'd like to make for it of it because I would like to explain things really well and it will make the videos way too long. So to get started on the second part of our tutorial uh, I've already done some work behind uh, the scenes <laughs> in between episodes uh, that is because I want to uh, set the border over here to glass so it's the middle line middle uh, section of our trade inventory I set the first uh, eight items to a simple glass block and the last item to a redstone block as you can see I've also highlighted something over here which we are gonna get into in just a sec but before that I want to uh, point your attention towards the fact that I have made a constructor just as we use the config kinds of and it's made of a type trade listener because uh, we, I want to split the listener class and the command class in two classes and uh, let me just remove that real quickly and as you can see this listener class is called trade listener and I put a reference over here so that I can access it I can access this instance of this class and to do so uh, I just create a variable of type trait listener the class trait listener so I'm instantiating an instance trait listener I'm gonna call it trader equals new trait listener there like that and just trait listener let me type that correctly and then I'm just gonna put it over here inside our uh, constructor command and of course with every um, event listener we need to do get server dot get plugin manager dot register events uh, register events and then we're gonna do trader and this just like that so as far as our trade listener goes, everything with the inventory interaction between the players will go in here. And of course we first need to create a public hash map uh, of type player player just as we did last time to keep track of all the players that are trading and in what combination they are trading. So who's trading with who and I'm going to call this um, uh, trading players equals a new hash map type player player and then close it off by this as you saw in the trade command I've added a little method add players to trade list and then it's gonna be player and trade with and of course I'm gonna create this over here as well so I'm gonna do public void add players to trade list and let me see if I do all caps correctly yes and let me just uncomment this uh, add player to trade list player and then I want to have player which is going to be player 1 or in short P1 and player which is going to be P2 uh, the second player that we trade with and of course I would like to add these to the trading players dot put the player 1 and player 2 so that we now have a list which we can keep track of who is trading with who so uh, and we add that uh, after we open the inventory for both of our players and now we have that we of course want to create a listener because we want to check if people are putting items in there so uh, first create a public void on player inventory click which is going to be of type inventory click event e just as we did uh, in a previous episode inside of here we want to check if e dot get inventory dot get title uh, so the title of the inventory is equal to our trade inventory as we called it in the last episode if I'm correct let me just quickly check here trade inventory over here 
uh, and if it is, we want to get the player p equals cost to player e dot get who clicked because it returns a human entity and we want to have a player. So we now have a player and there are two possibilities. Either this player is putting items in the top part of our inventory or the player is putting items in the bottom part of our inventory. And as you can see, we stored the players over here. So player one is going to be in the top, player two is going to be over there. But it's a hash map, so you can't actually check if the player we are currently uh, working with from the event is in the second place or the first place. But what we can uh, what we can check if it's in the first place. So we're gonna do if uh, trading players dot contains key so that uh, if it contains anything with the first on the first slot. Uh, P um, and then we know it's player one because only players that uh, are trading are inside the trading inventory so if it's trading players contains key uh, P then it's player one and else so if it's not then it's player two I'm just quickly type that over here so for player one we want to check if either get slot so what slot they clicked in is below or equal to eight because uh, inventory start counting at left top in this in our case and it's gonna count down to the right bottom so we got zero to eight on our first line nine to seventeen on our second line and if I'm correctly eighteen to twenty six on our last line so we're gonna check if it's below that so that they clicked a valid slot or either get slot equals 17 because that's our uh, accept button that's the red uh, redstone block in our case and either get slot uh, is above 27 that's because we also want to get room uh, for the player to actually click on their own items and because this will block off this is a really simple way of uh, constraining the way players can trade so that they do not have to click on every slot they cannot steal the other person's their item items but they have to be prepared and have to have their trading uh, trading items on their third row in their inventory so if they click on this then it's a valid slot so we're gonna uh, do nothing actually for now and if they don't so else if they do not click on a valid slot we're gonna get e dot set cancelled to true so we're gonna cancel the interaction same thing for player 2 only that if e dot get slot uh, is higher than or equal to 17 because uh, the player can of course put in items from uh, item slot 17 uh, then we are going to just do nothing else we are going to set cancelled to true because we do not want them to mess with the inventory of the other player so that's all the interaction for the actually putting items in and uh, constraining the movement of the players within the inventory uh, now I would like to do something about the accept button so if they click on the valid slot we're just gonna check again oh let me uncap uh, if we actually clicking on slot 17 equals 17 like that then we are going to accept and this is going to take in the player and the e dot get current item so the item they clicked on and then we also gonna uh, cancel the event because we do not want them to steal our accept button of course and same for the other player over here if uh, e dot get slot equals 17 and then we're also gonna accept and we're gonna prevent them for stealing our accept button so we're gonna create the accept method for now we're not actually gonna finish off the trade we are just gonna create the the gimmick with the accept button so you're gonna do public void oh and by the way it's an event so do not forget to event handler to put of event handler above over here and uh, public void then we're gonna do accept and it's gonna take a player p and it's gonna take a items tag item over here just like that let me auto implement ctrl shift o and because the accept button actually needs to click 
been clicked uh, twice by first player and the second player we are gonna change if the first player so let me just get if uh, the first player so if item dot get type dot equals uh, material dot redstone block so if the first player clicks on the item then we would like to change the material and the um, display name of the item to the player name so that we can actually check if the same player is clicking on the button twice of course they want to cancel the the, the trade uh, so we're gonna do uh, item meta item wait item dot set type material is gonna be material dot emerald block because we want to now have a green button of course it's it's green it's go go trade and then we are gonna get the item meta of the item so item meta meta equals item dot get item meta of course and with the item meta we want to set display name to p dot get name so that we can check if the same player is clicking on the button again and then we want to do item dot set meta item meta towards meta just like that so we also want to check if it's a emerald block so we're going to do else if item dot get type dot equals material dot emerald block just like that emerald block then what we want to do is we want to get the item meta of our emerald block and we want to check if it's equal to the player name so if uh, item to get item meta of course we do not need to check if it got any item meta because it does we already made sure that it does over here and the players cannot change the blocks over there so item meta to get display name uh, dot equals and then we do p dot get name so if it's equal to the player name uh, then we actually want to revert it backwards towards the redstone block so we're going to do item dot set uh, type and we're going to do material dot redstone block because they cancel kind of cancel there's no actually there's no cancel event over here and this list will just get refreshed or um, as soon as either the player uh, enters another trade or the how do you call it the uh, server gets restarted uh, okay so item dot set type and then we're gonna do item meta meta uh, and then it's meta equals item dot get item meta and we're gonna do meta dot set display name to null again so that it's the same as there so it's block of redstone and we're going to do item dot set item meta towards meta like that and then there's just one last thing to do so if it equals to that if it does not equal to that else uh, we want to for now just broadcast the message so bucket dot broadcast message and then we want to say trade accepted we cannot do actually anything yet over here because that will be in the next video i'm sorry i cannot show this off it works i've tested it but i do not have two minecraft accounts and this is something you really need to account for and if it does not work uh, then i probably made a mistake in the video and i will just edit the code in the paste bin so if you got any comments over here saying oh, it does not work uh, change the code then paste bin in the description box will have the right code and that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comments or go to the description box you'll find a link to our discord you can put all your questions over there and i hope you uh, enjoyed see you next time <laughs>